what is addition? Addition is bringing numbers together so to find the sum. And the sum, that word, means the answer. Like the apples, 2 plus 3 equals 5. See? So now we're going to add 23 plus 15 the old way. And the important part is that you put the tens in the tens place and the ones in the ones place. So 23 and 15 should look like this. The 3 and the 5 and the 1s and the 2 and the 1 that's in the 10s. You first always add by the 1s. So 3 plus 5 is 8. You put the 8 in the 1s place. Now we're going to add the digits in the 10s place. That 2 plus 1 equals 3. Great! That 3 goes in the 10s place. You're doing great. 38. Now partial sum. We're going to take that 23 and the 15 and we're going to break them down to expanded form. That's right. That's a 20 plus 3 and a 10 plus 5. Do you see it's in expanded form? Now when we add it up, the 3 plus the 5 is 8. The 20 and the 10 is 30. There you go. 30 plus 8 and the answer is 38. You're doing good. Now, this one is about base 10. We're not going to draw all those lines and all those squiggles because it's, that's just too much for us. So a square is 100, the line is 10, and the dot is 1. Got it? So when we go ahead and we start to draw this, the 23 has two 10s and three 1s. The 15 has one 10 and five 1s. And when we add them together, the 1s first, that's eight 1s, and that's 30 with the 10s. 30 plus 8 is 38. You're doing great. Number line. This is an open number line, and the first thing we got to do is put that 23 on there. We're not going to do all kinds of ticks, but we're going to hop over 15. I'm going to break that 1 and the 5, so that's a 10 and a 5. First, we hop 10. So that 23, that gives us 33, because 23 plus 10 is 33. Now we have to hop five more, and we end up at 38. Do you see how that works? It's not difficult. It just takes patience, and I think that you can do it just fine. So now go ahead and pause the computer and go get a piece of paper and a pencil. And when you're ready, push play, and we'll work one of the problems together. I'll wait. Hi, guys. Let's work a problem together. We're going to do 63 plus 26. And we're going to do it four different ways. First, let's do it the standard algorithm, the old, regular old way, okay? The most important part when you're doing this is to make sure that your tens are in the tens place and your ones are in the ones place. So we have 63 plus 26. I've lined it up so that my ones are together and my tens are together. Okay? So first I'm going to add the ones. You always add the ones first. So six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine. And now six plus two. Six, seven, eight. That's eight. I think the answer is going to be 89. Now to do partial sum, I take the 63 and I turn it into a 60 and a 3, and then the 26 is a 20 plus 6, and now I'm going to add that up. 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 70, 80, here we go, 80 plus 9 is 80, 9. Base 10, I'm going to show you a little trick here, okay? because I always do my things in groups of five. It just, it's easier. So we have 63 and 26. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, one, two, three. Now I always do like a little line here to make sure that I can organize my, my math. 26, 10, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six. 5, 6. Now I'm gonna add it all up. We get 6, 7, 8, 9, good, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, we get 80 here, 80 plus 9 is 89, 
Okay, so so far, we are three out of four. We know it's 89. If you feel comfortable with a number line, you do an open number line. That's what geometry calls it, an open number line. It's just a line. And I'm going to start with the largest number. I'm going to put 63 on my number line way over here. I'm going to add on the 26. So 10, 20, that's plus 10 and plus 10. That's 63, 73, 83. And now I'm going to add on six more. I can do six hops, like, like, like if you want to do it like that way. Or you can just do a hop of six. I'm going to do a hop of six. So six, seven, eight, nine. We're in the 80s. We're at 89. I'm pretty sure the answer is going to be 89. Now the reason you have to learn all this is because once math becomes more complicated and you have more steps, if you know the basic pattern as to how this works, you won't have any problem when you have to start regrouping numbers. So practice on your own, and if you ever have any questions, ask your teacher or ask your teacher or your parent to send me a comment, and I'll answer you. Okay? Have fun.